Hi, this is Tracy Copeland, and welcome to Trainer of the Month Club. So we've been focusing on a lot of running workouts, but this workout is focusing on cooling things down, okay? So we're gonna do a nice little five minute cool down, which is so important for runners. I feel like a lot of the time we do our running workouts and then we finish before we're ready to even cool down. So this is gonna be a workout that's gonna help you cool things down statically. You guys ready? Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the inner thigh stretch. Have you start in a wide straddle position, and we're gonna focus on one side, just holding it a little bit longer, okay? So we, we focus on the inner thighs first because I know when I run, my inner thighs are always really sore, whether it's a two mile run or a six mile run or even a half marathon, okay? Inner thighs tend to do a lot more work than we think, so we wanna make sure that we, we stretch them statically after every single run. Okay, so you're gonna hold one side a little bit longer than you normally would. So you're gonna hold it, like we've done our warm-ups, you, you work out dynamically, but in a cool down, you hold things just a little bit longer, okay? You wanna lengthen that muscle. All right, making sure that the, the heels, the weight is in your heels and your hips are staying back, relaxing throughout your shoulders. All right, we're gonna move to the ground. We're gonna take things into a downward facing dog. So upside down V, for some of you guys who may do yoga, you want to make sure that the fingers stay spread. We're stretching out our calves, okay, part of our posterior chain. So our calves do a lot of work, especially when, when we sprint, when we're running faster. Hopefully you're running a little bit faster, especially towards the end of your running workout. So you want to make sure that you, you properly stretch out your calves after every single run, even if it's just for a few seconds each side. So I make sure that I I switch between my left and my right side. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our low runner's lunge, okay? Stepping one leg forward, and then you're gonna go ahead and drop the back knee to the ground. This is to stretch out the hip flexor, okay? So your hip flexor is also part of those that muscle group that maintains your pelvis when you run, okay? So you wanna make sure that that, that hip flexor is nice and stretched out, especially after a nice little long run, whether you've done a sprinting workout or whether you've done like a five mile run or you've done like a longer run if you're training for something like a marathon or a half marathon. You just wanna stay nice and relaxed through your shoulders and driving that hip as far forward as you need to. What you can also do is you can hold something by your side that's gonna help you get a little bit deeper. Some people like to put a pole here or even a block. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides, take it to the opposite side. And this is also like where you can see what side feels a little bit more open, maybe what side feels a little bit tighter. Um, so you might need to put a little bit more effort into one side. Um, your, your cool down is, is what's gonna help you maintain just running for longer, uh, maintaining your body. We don't wanna just run once or twice a week, we wanna be able to run four to five times a week. So making sure that you cool down properly that's gonna help your body regenerate so you're ready for your next run. All right, we're gonna take things all the way to the ground. We're gonna do a nice little quad stretch. We're working on the major muscle groups here. So we've done our hip flexors, we've done our inner thigh stretch. So I'm just drawing one leg back and I'm bringing my hands behind me and I'm just kind of leaning into my elbows and I can Bend my elbows to any degree that I need to just to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Yeah, and you wanna make sure that the top of your foot is pressing into the ground and it's not flexing because you don't wanna put any unnecessary effort against that knee, especially if you have any knee issues. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take things to the opposite side. Stretching out that quad. And again, we wanna make sure that that tailbone is tucked under slightly and making sure that that opposite leg just kind of stays a little bit more active instead of just kind of splaying out to the side. Just as focused as we are when we're running or we're doing a strength workout, like our core strength workout or a glute strength workout, you want to stay focused while you're cooling down too. It's not just a chance for your body to just go to sleep. You're active while you're stretching the entire time. All right, we're going to cool things down getting a little bit deeper into the hamstrings this time. Again, those major muscle groups. So I'm gonna extend one leg all the way down. I'm gonna start by hugging my knee into my chest. 
And then I'm gonna extend the leg up towards the ceiling. And at the bottom of every exhale, I'm just gonna pull that leg a little bit closer to my chest, all right? So the goal here is to get that leg as straight as possible. If you don't have a lot of flexibility in your hamstrings, then you can maybe put a little soft bend in your knee and just grab the back of your hamstring and pull. But if you feel like you have a little bit of room here, a little bit more space, then you could pull it closer to you with the leg straight. Let's go ahead and take it to the opposite side. Keeping the opposite leg nice and long. Extend the leg. You can draw the knee into your chest first, and then you can go ahead and extend the leg from the kneecap. And you wanna make sure that you're not lifting out of your hip. You're, keeping, you're staying grounded through your pelvis, and that lower back is connected to the ground. And once again, every time you breathe at the bottom of your exhale, you're just gonna pull that leg gently towards you, allowing you to get a little bit deeper into the hamstring. So it's getting rid of any tightness or soreness, anything that's lingering throughout your body. So you are ready to run that next workout. You're ready, hopefully the next day, to get into that next running routine. All right, I think we've worked through all the major muscle groups. I think you guys have cooled things down effectively. My name is Tracy Copeland. Thanks so much for joining. I'll see you next time. Want more Trainer of the Month Club? Subscribe to Well and Good today. Got any questions about the workouts we just did? Let us know in the comments below.